In this video, I will demonstrate how I taught my son about fact families. I used a worksheet that I created on the computer, index cards, and two regular markers. When I made the worksheet, I created several different tables, and at the top of each table I included the add-ins and sum. The tables had enough space for two addition problems and two subtraction problems. If you notice the top row, all of the sum, or the larger numbers, are at the end. But on the second row, I wanted to change it up a bit to make sure that he was understanding that the larger numbers should be the sum for the addition problems and should be the answer or should be the first number for subtraction problems. So just to make sure that he was understanding what he was doing, I moved the larger number around, as you can see here and here. Next, I cut index cards in half and wrote the numbers 0 through 9 using a marker. In a different color, I used three of the cut index cards to write the plus, minus, and equal signs. Then I showed Brandon how to use the cards to create number sentences. We swapped the numbers around to create related fact families and wrote them in the charts. You can find a step-by-step -step guide on using these index cards to teach fact families at www.mygiftedson.com Okay, so we need 2, 4, and 6. What is the largest number out of 2, 4, and 6? 6. Hmm? 6. Yes, you're right. So, when we're doing addition six. problems... Excuse me. Yes? Uh, so, 6 is large because it's the biggest? Yes, exactly. Okay, <laughs> so when we're doing addition problems, the largest number goes where? The largest goes um, the, for the answer. For the answer. Good job. Give me five. Woo! Okay, so let's set up your cards. We're doing an addition problem, so we need the plus sign. Let's do it. This is four plus two. Wait, wait. We need the plus sign. Well, we I need the equal one. sign. And what, which one is going to be the answer? Six. Good. Okay. Uh, All right. You got two plus four equals six. Six. Let's write that down on your worksheet. Two. This one? This one right here. With oh. Two, four, and six. Uh, two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Two. Three. Two plus what? I I I almost said six, but but. Uh, uh, but you correct it yourself. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right. Okay. So now we have two plus four equals six. Can you think of another addition problem? Good job! Write it down. Can you say it for me? For the camera? Four. Mm -hmm. Four plus two equals six. Yes. Okay. Okay. Four plus two. Is that good too or not? Yes, that is a good two. Very good two. Very good handwriting on your whole worksheet, actually. Let's go. Six. So we have the two addition problems, right? Right. So we can get rid of the plus sign. Get rid of the plus sign. Yay! And put the subtraction problem. Yeah. That's now, when we're doing subtraction, the biggest number goes. Yes, so let's do that. And what do we have first? Six minus four equals two. Good. I is that right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it is. Very good job. Ooh. So let's write that down as a subtraction. I mean, 
I, I, I couldn't erase that one, and then that little thing, and then it will be a subtraction line. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice too. Okay, so we have one subtraction Ow. problem. Can you do the other one? Is that the ocean? No, that's a car driving in the rain. <laughs> it does kind of sound like the ocean. Huh? Wait, I I, 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 I can make a sound as the wind. Really? Let me hear you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-